Okay, welcome to today's oil pastel classes, everyone. Uh, over to Shreyas. We will talk about the work for today. Okay, over to Shreyas. Yeah, yeah. Today is a watercolor uh, painting of the lighthouse. So let's begin with the practice sheet as usual. This is the practice sheet. So before we go on going to the main sheet, let's do some shapes for that. So for this lighthouse thing, we have to practice straight lines. Just, just draw straight lines. Keep trying until you get the straight line. And the other one is the cone shape. and practice the straight lines until you get the perfect line, as many lines as you can. As we are just practicing, so, and other one is triangle. and rectangle. There won't be any much of shapes for this, but yeah, straight lines is must and shirt for this. Straight lines, slant lines. Just randomly go on shapes and lines like this. Okay. So all of you can just show it to the camera how much ever you have done. Let me just check what your people have done. Yes, yes. Good, good. Yes. Coming good. Try to do it as straight as you can. That's it. So I love your drawing. Yes, thank you. Thank you for that. Yes, all right, everybody. Let's, shall we? Move on to the main sketching. Yes. 
you guys can show me thumbs up okay all right let's start with the main sheet sketch so before we start sketching it's it's important to compose the lighthouse which comes in the center of the sheet okay so before we start doing the lighthouse sketching let's mark where it should reach exactly let's mark very lightly i'm just marking here and somewhere here later we are going to erase this line this is just the markings of where we are placing the lighthouse in the center of the sheet this is just the composition okay and the sheet not very straight but slightly slanted line which comes like this okay after knowing where exactly it will come i'm going to erase these lines just make sure not too thick but not too thin get a medium size shape of the cone which is slightly slanted and little curve on top straight line here okay i'm going to take it slowly just try to get this shape in the center of the sheet like this then there is the unwanted line okay i'm going to make it even more smaller
and a small rectangle shape here. And slightly this curve shape on top. Just draw lightly as you can. Then if you make it dark, you cannot erase it later. Small straight lines which is square shape. And then finally, small, very small triangle shape, which is the top of the house. Okay, so I'm just gonna divide this. The down part of the lighthouse. I'm gonna make a little bigger. And I'll add the small staircase here to the ground. And the entrance, which which will be the door. And small windows in between, which has to be straight. Okay. Right. 
very small windows So yeah, sketching of the lighthouse is done. I'm gonna give some time. Yes, those who have finished can show your work to the camera. Yes. Sadika, really good. Yes, Ahana Chetan, it's really good. Yes, yes, it's really good. Yes, all of you have done a better job this time. I'm going to give two more minutes to finish this sketching. Let's start with the colors soon. Those who have finished can keep your materials ready, all of your colors and palettes, brushes, everything. I'll just show you what I'm using. I'm using 14 size flat brush, bigger brush. And number seven, medium size brush and zero size brush, which is very small. Okay, so those who don't have this flat brush can use any bigger size brush. So before starting the colors, I'm gonna tape 
on the borders all of you can tape for the borders so those who don't have it's okay not Yes, my taping is done. So shall we start with the colors? And please don't use the scale for the straight lines. You have to practice. So shall we start with the colors? Yes, I'll wait for some more time. Yes, let's start with the color. So first I'm gonna take a bigger size brush. Colors which I'm taking Cobalt Blue, Crimson Lake, and Persian Blue. So I'm taking these three colors for the sky.
so for the first wash you have to dilute the colors and make it lighter okay before we apply on the sheet let's make the sheet wet with the plain water i'm using plain water so make sure not to go on the lighthouse only for the background which is sky i'm just using plain water this is called the wet on wet technique and don't come to the bottom of the lighthouse only till here the half part and leave some space here so i made the whole background with the plain water and using the cobalt blue light and lightly mixing crimson lake for the cobalt blue which gives this color so it will be two different shades and make sure to leave the paper white here just for the waves yes we going to create some small waves here
so don't apply too dark just make your colors light and just apply on the water so for the water effect i have left paper white here for the waves which hits the lighthouse so yeah the sky is done i'll wait for some more time for you guys to do it So if you guys have any questions can put it in the chat box i'll see i'm going to use the same technique the wet on wet technique for the down part So yeah, I'll be using the Verdian hue and the Persian blue for the C effect. So as we did here, I'm just using the plain water here. But make sure to leave the paper white wherever you need the waves effect. so the colors will spread only where there is water Thank you. 
I took the verdian hue and the Persian blue. I mixed these both colors. And after when you're done, you can just take the plain water and blend the colors wherever you need, like this. You can also use the dry brush. So I'm not taking much of water for this. I'm just gonna create the pattern here like this. So that it looks like the wave which hits the lighthouse. Okay. So I'm stopping till here for you guys to finish it. Yes, I'll repeat the colors again. I used Verdian hue, which is Verdian green and Persian blue for the sea. And cobalt blue, crimson lake and These two colors are used for the sky. Cobalt blue and crimson lake. Okay. Please keep your tissues ready. If you make any mistakes, immediately you can take off the colors on the tissue. Okay.
I'll just wait for some more time for you guys to finish it. Don't make the colors too dark. Make sure you dilute the colors properly. If you make it too dark, it looks more vibrant. First, we have to give the lighter wash and then later we're gonna give the strokes which is in the darker shades. And then really the lighthouse will stand out. If you make everything dark, the, the painting, the work you have done, it will be very flat. Yes, I can see some of your works. You have done pretty good job. Keep going. So those who have finished till here can continue with me. So I'm gonna take it slow, so don't worry. I'm gonna take a medium sized brush which is the brush number seven. I'm gonna use Verdian green. I have diluted the color with more water just for the top here.
So I just applied the body and green here. Diluting with more water. So I see your video is off. Yes, 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 come in. Is it okay now? Yeah, yes, better. Yes, I'll repeat all the colors which I used again. I used cobalt blue and crimson lake for the sky background and verdian green and Persian blue for the sea effect and diluted with more water, which is the top of the lighthouse is verdian green. Okay. Uh, Mahesh, you there? Yes, Shreyas. Yes. Video is recording, right? Yes, it is. Okay. So I'm going to take same word in green color here, which is on top. This time I'm going to make a little medium tone only for one side. which shows the shadow and the light.
So for this part, I'm using cobalt blue. with more water, so diluting more water. Okay, this shade has to be very light. Just like this. Not too light. It should be little darker, medium shade compared to the sky. so that it shows the difference. The highlight part which we are showing is the lighthouse so that we have to make it little darker. I'll be using the same seven size brush here. I'm taking yellow ochre. Persian blue. I'm going to mix these two colors for the lighthouse. And the right side of the Yes, colors I'll repeat again. I just used cobalt blue and verdian green, two colors on top. Cobalt blue and verdian green. Okay. And I'm taking yellow ochre and Persian blue. And for the right side of the lighthouse, we are leaving paper white to show the highlights. I'm just applying very, very light yellow ochre. And Mixing Persian blue with yellow ochre gives you this kind of green shade. Okay. I'm mixing these two colors, yellow ochre and Persian blue.
So it's kind of green. Okay. So after applying, I'm using plain water. And I totally left the right side of the lighthouse is paper white. You will get something like this. So that two colors will be visible. The yellow occur and Persian blue. So all of you are using thick sheets, I guess. I'm using more of yellow cut for the down part. So I left the paper white for the right side. And you can also use the dry brush. If you want this pattern. So wherever there is more color, you can just take it off with the plain water. Okay. So wherever there is more color, you can quickly take it off with the plain water.
Okay, for this part. I'm taking ocean blue and crimson blue. So this time I made it little darker. And then you can dilute with water. It becomes light. Okay. So before applying the second layer, make sure this first layer is completely dry. And I don't want you guys to paint this complete box. Make sure to leave some white space here as I left. This paper white highlight part really stands out after when you finish the painting. Okay. So I'm taking yellow occur. Just applying very lightly, just to show some colors for the ground. Make sure to blend the colors with plain water. I'm using plain water. Okay, I'll stop till here.
Yes, Radhika, your work is really good. Yes, I will repeat the mixing colors for the lighthouse, which is verdian green and Persian blue. Yellow ochre. And for this purple effect, I used crimson lake and Persian blue for this purple shape. Okay. Here. Yes, please ask any questions. I think we can we can unmute them if you want to. Yes, yes. Those students who have raised their hands. Um, no, I cannot uh, uh, unmute them. All right, I have unmuted one student. Sadika, you're on uh, unmute. You can talk to your tutor. Sadika. Stress. Okay, let me let me unmute uh, some of you guys. I'm not sure what exactly happened. Stress, you there? I think your tutor is not here, right, everybody? Hi everybody. Hey guys. You know what? Over here, I just need to tell you something that your tutor will be back. Till then, we need to just keep completing the work, right? Everybody, 
Uh, if you have completed the work, why don't you guys flash it? And I would like to take a look at them. Okay. I'm hoping that you guys have used a diluted color. Like, you know, you need to really, really, really dilute the colors. Jigisha, looks all right. Looks all right. Okay, Tanisha. The color mixing, uh, water colors are very fun. You know, it's really tricky. Um, Tanisha, yeah, it's almost good. We need to practice these, these things and I'm sure for the first attempt, which is good. Show me Anishka. Okay, very good, very good. That's the light effect that we need to get. Okay, good. Who else has finished? I'm seeing Anaga is using a lot of colors there. You need to wash it with a lot of water. Anaga, be careful. We don't need to put a lot of colors like that. So Samara, good work. Need to be even more lighter than that. Use some more colors. Samanvita, uh, the sheet, the paper that you've used is not good for watercolors. This is not going to give you any kind of effect. So you need to use the sheet, which is, which is for watercolors. That's why you see it's become very wet. Okay. Either way, you need to use light very light water, uh, a lot of water and light colors. Uh, Shreyas is back, so I am going to unmute him. So Shreyas, you're there. So uh, let's continue with the classes then, Shreyas. Yes, is the lighting is good or shall we start after after some time? I, it is kind of it is kind of okay. Uh, let's finish it. Let's not wait. I know it's not as bright as uh, that we want to be, but it's okay. Let's finish the work. Okay. So yeah, I'll quickly finish the work. I'm taking Persian blue. So this time, which is the third layer, I'm gonna mix it little darker. You can also use the black color to make it Dark. And for the windows, wherever we left, I'm just gonna fill with a dark. Just filling for the windows here. and the entrance which we left.
and with the small brush with a zero size brush i'm just going to give some strokes here And with a thin brush, you can just give small lines. The same goes here, this side. You just have to give the lines. I'm just going on the drawing, the line drawing which I did. This is the staircase. Okay. I'm just going to make little darker on the left side. Just to show the shadow. And with a small zero size brush, I'm just going to add some birds here. Just the small tiny dots. Okay, you can do as many lines. This is the final strokes which we are given. Okay. And very thin, small zero size brush, you can make tiny, thin thread to the town. And this line, I'm 
any color you can just give the small flag okay the painting work is done i'm just going to remove the masking tapes Please remove it slowly. Okay, the painting is ready. Great, awesome. So, Shreyas, I think most importantly, when I looked at uh, the work from uh, students, their highlights, for example, the ocean, the water, mm -hmm. and the sky was not yeah. on par. So what do we do uh, just to help them, just to repeat that one more time so that everybody can understand that? So just for the living, the highlights, right? Yeah, the water, the sky, those things. Yes, I just mix two colors. And wherever I need white, I just left the paper white. And before doing applying the colors, we used wet on wet technique first only with the plain water and then applying the colors for that so that the colors will spread this way lightly. So wherever we need the white clouds like this or the water effect, we can just leave paper white and just create the textures or patterns here like this. Great. Thank you, Shreya. So let's look at everybody's work here. I saw Raika, Raika showing the work. Okay. Very good, Raika. Very nice. Very good work. Beautiful. Keep it up. Right. So that, that's what it is. It takes a lot of practice and regularly coming to the classes. Very good, Raika, very good. Uh, Jigisha, good work. Highlights are something that we need to work and use thin brushes, please. The thread or anything has to be thinner than that. Thinner, you need to practice how to draw a thin line. It's too thick. The lines that you've drawn is too thick. Okay, so Tanisha, um, highlights are good. Uh, sky part. On the left and the right, what you've used, the purple, um, that needs to be even more lighter. Take a water, take some water, dilute it, spread it. Okay, Samara, I'm not sure what you're doing there. Have you completed your work, Samara? No, okay. Shreya, uh, Shreya Nayak, very nice. Good work, very good. Um, quick feedback, come closer, come closer, please. Get it closer, get the work closer. Very good like the whole thing beautiful work that is why the watercolor needs to be very light in this work very good the ocean highlights can be a little better Shreya, very nice Shreya Nayak's work is really good yeah Shreya Nayak's work yes I'm addressing her work which is yeah. really good I believe the ocean can be little um, highlights can be a little better the waves are hardly seen but otherwise I love the Love the whole thing. It's beautiful. Uh, whereas uh, uh, Gautam, sorry, uh, Yatharth and Sejal, where are you guys? Where's your work? Yatharth. I'm looking at it. Just flash it to the camera, please. Okay, Yatharth. Yatharth, really good. Like I was hoping for, because I know watercolors are your favorite and I know you will become, you will be good at it. So can you see this, uh, Shres, Yatar's work? He's, he's, uh, he's not, um, you know, named his 
window as yatharth is named it as kapula art schools just okay just a minute yeah that's the point guys everybody please get your names i know you like kapula art school but you need to you need yeah, to yeah, yeah i've highlighted it i've highlighted it for all of us just take a look at the work that is done really beautiful like the whole work that is done Yes. Uh, the lines good. can be lines can be little finer, Yathar. You need to use the point brush so that the lines can be very light. Okay. Swasti is still working on Swasti. Whatever that you have completed, show it to the camera, please, quickly. Oh, you've uh, stuck the whole thing to the board. Okay. Good. Good. Very good. Good. So you need to work on the highlights, even the water. Um, and the sky with the you know clouds that effect needs to come out okay too light it won't show too dark it won't look good so you need to balance that okay nice good work everybody wasn't the ganeshan where is your work yashika rane i don't have any of you guys turning on your video so i can't speak anything about it vibhavi Archana, Prita Doshi, Reddy Tarun, Deekshit. Not sure why you guys have turned off your videos. So if that is all the questions that we have, I can... Uh, okay, let me unmute some of you guys over here. Okay. Uh, Utpala, Utpala, what's your question? Utpala, do you have any questions at all? Yes, sir. What is sir, your question? Uh, I have a question that uh, we we should do here uh, lines for like a like a like a ladder over here down. One second, one second. Hang on, Yatart, Yatart, you can uh, drop off the call. Yatart, you can drop off the call. Yes, but show me, Utpala. Yes, sir. Um, sir, we should do like here, like this ladder on your head, sir. I did here ladder. Are you seeing this stress? Whose work? Sir, Utpala's my name is Utpala. 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 Let me let me try and highlight her. Uh... Yes, yes, I can see her work. What what what? What's the question? Sir, uh, I did over here a ladder like this. Is it okay? Yes, yes. You just made it a little thick, but make sure you use the zero size brush to get the fine thin line. That's it. Okay, sir. And the top of the uh, tower, the placement is missing. The top of the, the head of the tower, the lighthouse. Head of the lighthouse, yes, the placement is really on to the left. You need to be careful with that. Okay. Okay. All right. I'll take one more. So, Mahadev Nandan. Huh? Yes. This is my work. Okay, okay, that, that is good. That is good, Mahadev. Keep it up. Thank Very you. nice. But the border, border, you don't have to draw any lines like that, okay? Keep the borders clean. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Uh, it is good. And uh, is one good. more thing. So, um, please don't use the outline for the dark color. If you give the outline, the, the realistic, the natural effect will go. So, but only otherwise, uh, please don't use doing the outline thing, everything, or even for the borders. Okay, sir. Okay, good. All right, Madhav, but still, it's, it's a nice work. Keep it up. So, Sri Harsh, looking at your work, Sri Harsh. So, Sri Harsh, what I like about your work is the color. And the water mixing that you have done is very good, very light it is. We will work. I know you're a new student, fairly new student. So we will keep working on these things 
as the time goes by you will be good at it uh, very good work today just one quick feedback is make big lighthouse tall one okay tall one otherwise everything is good keep it up keep up the good work very good talking about myra bhagat's uh, work uh, everything is really good myra uh, just be very careful with the color going out of the frame like for example tower everything is rubbed a bit right just watch out on those things uh, presentation is also equally important you've done a very good work keep those things in mind fiber v the colors are good the combination is good the highlights on the water is good everything is good maybe the lines need to be fine it has to be thin okay just watch out on that okay that's it i think uh, we have spoken to all the students if you want to take a screenshot of the tutor's work please go ahead and take it i will be able to um, you know get this video as soon as possible we will be able to put it on the instagram youtube and on your website the school's website you can look for the lessons there okay i think we are good with the classes for the day i shall meet you guys